Famed American painter, illustrator Arnold Freeberg has died at the age of 96. He's lived in Utah for nearly 60 years. Carol Makita looks back on his fascinating life and work that brought him international recognition. His stunning use of light, the vibrancy of his colors, his ability to capture the dramatic. American artist Arnold Freeberg believed if a work didn't have heart, it wouldn't be remembered. Most people do it with, with words, you know. My, my language is, is paint. Born in Illinois, raised in Arizona, Freeberg studied at the Chicago Academy of Fine Arts and was a nationally recognized illustrator when he moved from San Francisco to Salt Lake City in 1949. Adele Cannon Howells, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints general primary president, commissioned him to paint 12 scenes from the Book of Mormon, each to be published in the faith's children's magazine. Those paintings drew the attention of a man working for Hollywood's greatest director, Cecil B. DeMille. He was preparing to film The Ten Commandments. Packed up these eight prints and mailed them to DeMille with a note saying, the man you're looking for is in Salt Lake City. <laughs> One look and DeMille hired Freeberg to paint key film scenes and provided him with a home in Hollywood. Here is Freeberg's breathtaking creation of the parting of the Red Sea. He painted it, DeMille filmed it. DeMille made Freeberg the film's art director, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for costume design. I don't think we can truly overestimate the influence of Arnold Freeberg and his work, not only in motion pictures, but in his entire career. Because of his 300 paintings of the Mounties, he is the only American made an honorary member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. That group commissioned a painting of Britain's Prince Charles with his horse Centennial. Years later, Queen Elizabeth invited him to return and paint her equestrian portrait. Again, he lived and worked in Buckingham Palace. These are down in the shadows, and then it goes up sort of half light up into the full light. Into the light is where these paintings carried Arnold Freeberg, from Hollywood to the royal family to a work which has become definitive and beloved, the prayer at Valley Forge. I don't like to lay too much emphasis on something from upstairs, but it just seems there is some destiny to the thing. Arnold Freeberg, the illustrator who became a lifelong member of the prestigious Royal Society of Arts. Millions throughout the world know his work because it has touched their lives. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News, Salt Lake City. Family members are making plans for a funeral service next Saturday in Salt Lake City, but so many traveling from throughout the country and Canada, they're not sure of a time and place.